Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from Weir Film, and today I'm giving you a super quick tip on how to make all of those timelines in DaVinci Resolve appear. So if you've just opened up DaVinci Resolve with a new project, you maybe have made a few timelines and you're wondering, how can I open multiple timelines at once? And why is it that I can't do this on default? Well, I don't know why you can't do it on default, but I'm gonna show you how to make those appear. So when you have your project here and you have a timeline open, um, obviously this is if you have multiple timelines, so I'm assuming you've made multiple timelines. And what you wanna do is click on this little button right here, which is sort of your timeline view settings. And when you click on this, you can see our timeline view options. And the one all the way to the left up the top here is going to be your timeline uh, sort of like tabs. And now you can see that we have a bunch of our tabs here. So we can go through and we can select them. Now, let's say you wanted to add sort of what they call like the pancake editing. So you have a, some tabs and then another timeline up above. If you notice on this right hand side, there's this plus sign. And if you click that, you can add another timeline. But you might be wondering, why can't I select one of these timelines? Well, because they're open up here. So what you need to do is close them out. So look, uh, change this GV selects and this WH selects. And then now we can come down here and we can open those both up at the same time. I'm not sure 100% why that is. I think it's so that you couldn't mistakenly have like one timeline open or have the same timeline open twice and then be like making changes in one and not in the other. Um, so I think it's just to kind of keep things organized. But yeah, that's pretty much how you add those. And these have a lot of a lot of other options, including like your waveform. So if you can't see your waveforms, um, you can use this or, you know, you can do a bunch of different stuff here, like make them much bigger um, or uh, obviously your clip size, that kind of stuff. You can see I can make that bigger. So anyway, guys, that is a super quick video and a super quick tip. Thanks for watching as always. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.